My name is Alan Onyango Metho from Northwest Kisumu Ward, uh, Kisumu County. I was a soldier. I joined the armed forces in late 1975 and I served there for 31 years. After my retirement in 20 Zero 05, I used now to visit the field days organized by different organizations. One of them was ISIPE. I went to learn about Puspul in the ISIPE field day at a place called Yanga. That was back in 2010. Now, uh, from that field day, I got a brochure of how to plant or, or to establish a post-pull plot. Now I came and studied the brochure for a long time. When I got the proper information through this brochure, I went and purchased my own Desmodium seeds. I first bought one kilogram which costed uh, 3,500. I thought that one could be enough for my farm. Unfortunately, it uh, didn't complete my farm. I went back and bought another one. I wanted a half a kg. I was told they, sell, they only sell one kg. Now, I went back again and bought another kg, which now costed 7,000 Kenya shillings. Now, after establishing this push pull plot, a certain farmer who had dairy cows was looking for the fodder came to my farm and uh, was very much impressed with the Desmodium and the Stovers and the Napier around the, the field. Now this farmer bought all the, the fodder at a cost of Kenya, Kenya ceilings 10,000. Now I was so much happy because by then I didn't have dairy animals to feed on this type of fodder. Now since then till to date, I'm still practicing the push pull technology. And as you can see my farm here, you see the, the, the silver leaf, I mean the green leaf type of desmodium. Uh, before I bought the seeds, I only knew the silver leaf type of desmodium. Now when I bought the, the green leaf, I thought I was given a wrong type of, uh, of the desmodium until I was told by the ECP scientists that that's one of the best types of desmodiums around and it's the one I'm continuing with till to date 2021. Up to today I'm 11 years old in this technology. Now the importance of this push pull technology is that uh, we have it gave me the food I don't have a problem with food security. Since then, today, till today, I've never thought of buying maize from anywhere. I'm very much stable in terms of food security. Even I hosted the Minister of Agriculture officials from Nairobi who, who are walking around to check on food security within our area, and they were impressed. And uh, then they said most farmers should at least implement the, the, tech, the push pull technology to eradicate hunger within our area. Now, this technology has given me so many visitors who came to see the push pull technology, how it works. I've hosted people like the Bill Gates Foundation representatives, I've hosted people like uh, EU president representatives. I've hosted Honorable Oburo Dinga. I've hosted the women uh, rep of Kisumu County, Rosabuyu, among others. Now, as one of the uh, true testimony of the benefits of push pull technology, as I said, I started the technology in 2011. By 2012, my farm was so lovely. And uh, the picture you can see here was taken by the Eco Journal Chemical Ecology. In March 2012, it is volume 38, 
number three. That is me and my wife, and you can see how my maize looks like. I had never cultivated such like maize before push pull technology. Now, after that, I received some visitors who came to see the benefit of technology, and th through this newspaper, you can see here is written ex army officer takes lead in controlling striker weed in western Kenya. That is none other than Alan Meto who is standing before you today. And I'm the one in yellow t-shirt there telling Ministry of Agriculture Mrs. Feather who was the agricultural officer in Kisumu West then about the push -pull technology. And they were so much impressed with the technology and advised farmers in Kisumu West then to apply the technology. Thank you. Now, because of, we have achieved what we wanted in the push-pull technology in the cereals, we are now integrating with the vegetables. I've done with, this, uh, with the push-pull technology in cereals for the last 10, uh, 10 years. Now, this is my 11th year, we are now doing it in, in vegetables, which I'll take you to the vegetable plot and confirm for yourself or see for yourself. Uh, while at the push pull plot we talked about the integrated plot of vegetables. This is where we are right now. Now this is my integrated vegetable plot with the green leaf desmodium. Now we are using this technology here to, uh, to chase away the insects instead of applying insecticide because too much consumption of insecticide will lead to heart cancer. Now, uh, as you can see, this is now the kills in the pushful plot, and down here is the nightshade. Th these are the two common vegetables commonly used around here. This is why I have these two and they serve us for a very long period. Now in the push pull plot you saw the, the farm surrounded with napia, but here you can see we have done it with sarex. This sarex also is for the animals. I feed my cows on this. Now when I mix this sarex and with desmodium and napia, that is now a high class hotel for my animals. Now, uh, let me cut a bit of this sarus to mix with the ones I already cut. I make so that we, we go and feed the cows.